Voters also decided on levy requests from several school districts. Sophia Paraconi is live in Perrysburg tonight where that district's levy failed again. Sophia, you talked to people uh, there and in other districts. What did you find out? Some mixed reaction I hear? Yeah, Melissa, and while these are the unofficial results, it looks like Toledo Public Schools and Tecumseh Public Schools had their levies passed. But yeah, like you said, Perrysburg Schools uh, levy did fail along with Finley City Schools levy. So now they're making cuts. The leaders of two school districts are celebrating after levies passed on Tuesday night, asking for more funding from voters. Early polling shows 54% of voters said yes to Toledo Public Schools' levy and bond. Superintendent Dr. Romulus Durant says this will create promising futures for students. These are the things and opportunities that parents look for to be able to eliminate all barriers for the fact that there is a system in place to bring their kid through from a 11 year old to uh, adulthood who is gainfully employed. In Lenaway County, Tecumseh Public Schools Superintendent Matt Hilton releasing this statement, saying in part that the support for our sinking fund allows us to tackle much needed repairs and upgrades that will benefit our students, staff, and community for years. 53% of voters said yes to pass that levy, but that sentiment can't be shared with other districts. 54% of Perrysburg voters voted against the district's incremental operating levy. The result came in last night and certainly not what we had hoped for. It's the third time voters have shot down saying yes to giving money to Perrysburg schools in just the last year. Superintendent Tom Hostler says the current levy expires on January 1st and with this levy not passing on election night, the district will be losing out on $13.5 million. Hostler says that means possible cuts to sports, field trips, foreign language programs and more. One thing that will happen that people will begin to notice is that, you know, we, we don't have the funds to increase uh, our staffing and class sizes are going to increase. Or, or at the high school level, um, you know, classes will be closed because there isn't anyone to teach that section. And blows will also be felt in Finley. There, 52% of voters went against the district's proposed 1% income tax. Superintendent Dr. Andy Hatton well, says Finley City Schools is. hasn't passed a levy in 20 years. It is disappointing because we have not had a cost of living increase since the year 2004. And so that operating bucket of money uh, is where we're looking at. We are already deficit spending. This is the first time the district tried to pass an income tax after property levies failed in the past, leaving the district no choice but to find places to cut. So when you talk operating dollars, anywhere from 70 to 80 percent of a school's operating budget is in people because we serve children. And so that is the fastest way to make up the first round of five million in cuts, potentially a second round of maybe four million in cuts. Looking at two other school districts now, Anthony Wayne's levy appears to have failed, but the district is just waiting to confirm that with the Board of Elections since it is so close. Meanwhile, big uh, Bowling Green City Schools' levy also could fail, but they're still waiting on about 1,900 provisional ballots to be counted. The district says that could make a difference. Reporting live in Perrysburg, Sophia Paraconi, WTOL 11.